Hello everybody, it's Susan from right now sunny Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It's been raining a lot the past few days, but at the moment it's not raining, but it was just a little while ago, pretty heavily. Um, I've got a couple of quilt tops done for baby quilts. And these were done with the two fat quarter bundles that I ordered from Michelle, and they were so pretty. They're red and yellow and white and orange. <coughs> and I added, I had a pack, a little, a fat quarter pack of greens. So I added a few of those in there, and I was able to get two baby quilts. This is the first one, and I've got it folded in half so you can see part of it, uh, or most of it. And there's the other side. But I really, I really think, think it turned out rather cute. Um, this is the bigger of the two quilts, and I may add a red or orange border around this one about a two inch border maybe just to pull it all together um and if i have enough backing of this backing um after i've added the the binding I think that's what's going to go on the back. And it's got the oranges and the reds and the yellows. And I I think that will look okay on the back. I'm trying to use that fabric I've got. And this is not one of my favorite fabrics. But for a quilt backing, I think it'll work okay. So, let me know if you think otherwise. And I'll send it to you. I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, there's that. And then the smaller quilt is right here. And I've already got the borders on it. It's got... There, there you go. And I, I just think it turned out really cute. I um, think that I'm going to try to quilt this one, at least, on my sewing machine here at the house. And here is the backing for the little one. And I'm going to put it up here against... So, the backings are... Big bright colors, and they've both got the orange and red and, and yellow, and this one's got green in it as well, so I think they'll go okay on the back. But that's really all I've gotten done. Um, I was looking in my stash of quilts, not my stash of fabrics, but of, of quilts. that are being worked on. I've only got one quilt other than my Harry Potter, oh, excuse me, my Project of Doom or Year of Doom quilt. Um, I've got, I think, about 10 or 12 of those blocks done, but um, that's the only unfinished quilt that I have except for one that I started four years ago, um, three and a half years ago, as a high school graduation quilt for a friend of mine's daughter. And she'll be graduating from college this coming year, so I'm hoping to have it finished to give it to her as her college graduation quilt. Uh, <laughs> I'm not at all behind. But that's the only real quilt that I have in there. Everything else I've got in my little closet or are all flimsies. They're all completed quilt tops. Uh, so I have got that much done. I've, and 
Now my goal is to get some of these quilt tops finished. And I told Jennifer Rolls um, that the little shoot I have one quilt top coming to her sometime this week. And other than that, I think I've got about 10 more that are in the closet that need to be quilted. And I'm going to go through those, figure out which ones that are small enough that I can quilt them, and which ones need to go to, to Jennifer. And, uh, I think I'm going to try to send her one a month for a while to see if I can get them pretty much caught up because it needs to be done. So, now I'm going to shut up because I've talked a long time and said very little. But that's the way I usually do. And... I guess that I will see you next week. I hope I will see you next week. And I will be watching your videos and enjoying the heck out of them. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye, ladies.